I'm going to walk through how to get set up with service observability. Specifically, how do I configure a service so that I can see all the views I'm expecting within service observability? So I have a service that is reporting metrics to New Relic here, Internet Banking 23. This is an important service. I want to make sure that my operators are enabled to monitor well using kind of the APM data here as well as platform data. And so I want to get this service set up within uh, service observability. So you'll note I'm logged in as the system administrator. This is important for being able to create some of the later steps here. But I'm in the service operations workspace where I'm going to first go make sure that I have added this service to be a part of service observability in SRAM. So this is one that is already in the CMDB. Banking 23. And I assign it a support group to know who is in charge of this service or who owns the service. And now that this service has been set up, I'll see it showing up here. And we can go get to our service observability views, but we'll note that we're not seeing actual data appearing as of yet. Uh, this is expected because we haven't configured our data source in our data mapping. So these are the two important things that we need to make sure we set up. So I can click directly here to jump into the SOW Admin Center to create a data source connection. And so uh, for this instance, we're using New Relic, but we can also do the same thing for Dynatrace. I want to create a data source that effectively says this ServiceNow instance can reach out to my New Relic instance and issue API calls. And so I can call it New Relic Connection. And then my username and API key are information I get from New Relic. I'm not going to enter them here specifically just because it's a YouTube video but I have already created this here within, uh, within my previous work. So now that I've made a connection between this instance and my New Relic instance, I can make sure to go tell service observability how to find information in New Relic about this particular service and do that through data mapping. So let's create a data mapping for internet banking 23. We basically say for this service, Go to New Relic and look for this tag. And anything that comes back for this tag means that it's associated with this service. And so we can start pulling in the right data. So in this instance, I've only, I have this tag set up across my service, the host that it runs on in a MySQL database. If you're monitoring uh, a particular layer of the stack using a Dynatrace, for example, you can add an exception rule for say just MySQL, go look in Dynatrace at this connection for this particular tag. But now that I've got this set up, I can jump back into the service operations workspace where I look at my internet banking service. And right off the bat, we're already seeing data flowing in. This is live data coming from New Relic about this internet banking service itself. Uh, so I'm seeing the rate error percentage and latency, which is really valuable information for an operator to understand the overall health of this service in particular. I'm also combining that with the changes like change management for any hosts that are related to this particular service or any systems that might be impacted due to service relationships there, as well as any alerts or incidents that are related to this. So. As an operator, I'm able to get an overall perspective of what this service is and what its health is, and if anything's changed recently. And then I can go dig deeper to get more metrics that are coming from New Relic to understand maybe this is a problem happening at the host level, where it looks like there's a couple of different hosts that are uh, at higher memory utilization, or this particular VM seems to be at a higher disk utilization too. Those might be explaining problems, and I can dig in to identify who the support group is for this particular VM and reach out to that team. And that's how you get configured with service observability.